All right, guys, what's going on? Welcome in. So we have some breaking Jets news that just came out like a minute ago here. According to the team's social media page, the Jets are releasing linebacker Hamsa Najaldeen and linebacker Malik Hall. Now, obviously, Hamsa had the or experienced the neck injury in the Hall of Fame game. And it's unfortunate. I felt like with Najaldeen, although he was a later round pick, I always viewed him back at Florida State as like a kind of a raw a uh, versatile player that can you can you can maybe mold him in you you can push him into a certain direction right linebacker safety he can do a little bit of both right Spe specifically at the college level uh and then obviously the NFL level it, it it really seemed like the plan was to make him that linebacker and he was brought in in the same class as Jamie and Sherwood uh back in Zach Wilson's class so, you know, with Sherwood taking that extra step, with Mosley and Quincy Williams obviously resigning on that big deal, um, you know, it, it, it's looking like Nigel Dean will not, no longer be a Jet. And it, it's unfortunate, right? Because I, I do like him. I, I do like the upside. I, again, I do like his positional versatility. And he was a really, really fun player to watch back at, uh, back at Florida State. Uh, but here's the good news, right? And this, this news actually came out yesterday, I believe pretty late yesterday, but the Jets signed two linebackers, Nick Vigil, 29 years old. He's bounced around the league. He's played on a bunch of different teams, the Cardinals, the Bengals, the Vikings, uh, I believe the Chargers as well. And then Sam Aguavon, who's 30 years old and spent the last four years with the Miami Dolphins. But Nick Vigil is the guy who I want to really focus in on for a second because there was a stretch 2017 through 2019, he was not only just a consistent starter for the Cincinnati Bengals, he was good. Like, I mean, you look at that 2019 year, what did he have? 111 tackles, combined tackles. That's good. That is really good. I mean, if the Jets are bringing in, you know, again, 2019, we're a couple years removed from that, obviously, but we're getting a guy in the building who's played in multiple defenses. We're getting a guy who has some production, we're obviously signing him to a pretty you know, relatively cheap contract here, I would assume. Um, and on top of that, I, I feel good about, I definitely feel great about the, the uh, two guys, CJ Mosley and Quincy uh, Williams. And then Jamie and Sherwood, from everything that we've heard throughout training camp so far, and by the way, they're, uh, the Jets are actually getting ready to, to uh, have another practice right now. I'm going to be posting a recap on it afterwards. But everything we've heard about Sherwood has been positive uh, from not only just coaches, but also peers. But I was really impressed with Sherwood in the Hall of Fame game. He was actually taking snaps at middle linebacker too. So I think, you know, I think the Jets are on to something here. Unfortunately, the um, the Steelers went out and signed Quan Alexander. It is what it is. Uh, you know, I'm hoping, I, I, I'm wishing him well, right? I'm definitely going to be pulling for him. I wanted, the Jet, I wanted him back, you know, with the green and white. But hey, if Sherwood can play, if Sherwood is ready, that's that's the point of, de of developmental late round picks, mid to late round picks. Get him in the building, get him in the system, watch him grow for a year, year or two. Uh, in Sherwood's case, you know, now we're entering year three. And obviously he has dealt with injury, uh, but it, it's looking like he's ready. So cool. Like I, I'm pumped up. And now it's looking like Nick Vigil um, is going to be like a solid backup piece with all of a sudden all of this positive uh, positive momentum, or po positive, like, like you look at his resume again, he's experienced, he's a veteran, he's had some productive years, he's been a consistent starter at one point in time, he's fine being the backup. Uh, I, I think at the end of the day, looking at the losses, looking at the positive, uh, looking at the additions, the Jets did get better at the linebacker position, thus getting better as a defense. So anyway, let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Thanks so much for watching. And as always, go Jets.